All right, let's go ahead and break down in storyboard a very simple animation. Uh, I'm going to start off, I've got a ball sitting there and it's on the ground and we'll be using the ball rig uh, for this animation. And so I just make a quick little thumbnail storyboard there and I say that's going to be frame one. And now I want to put in a hold uh, until frame 60, which might sound like a lot but that's only two seconds and so we've just basically got a two second hold here where the ball isn't going to do anything that'll give our audience a chance to adjust to the just to uh, what it's seeing and kind of get comfortable with the action then uh, I'm going to have a little bit of anticipatory upward movement because he's going to go into a squash and so I'm going to put in a rough timing here of 65 and I'll draw him in that little upward movement and then he's going to zip down into a squash here. But now I'm going to go into what we call a moving hold. I want him to actually continue to squash out um, over, let's say, I don't know, eight or ten frames. Uh, and that will, let's say, ten. Um, and I'm going to write here move, hold, moving hold so that he's going to continue to squash but not very much he's, he's just going to he's not going to do a, a solid hold this is just a, a non-moving hold and this is going to be what we're going to call a moving hold okay uh, then he's going to come out of that moving hold and go into his up position okay and so that's going to happen pretty quickly, let's say three frames. And then he's going to hit the top of his arc up here. And let's say, let's go ahead and put that at, oh, I don't know, let's say 90. Then he's going to land and we can have, even have him kind of stretch down for the landing on let's say 97 and then he's going to squash when he lands pretty quickly so let's say 100 and then he's going to pop back up Now, just as we gave the audience a little bit of time here at the beginning to see that the animation had started, I'm going to give them a little time at the end with just another uh, non-moving hold to get used to the idea that the animation has stopped. So we'll add in another, let's say, 30 frames or a second. So uh, 133 and just a static hold there. Hold. Okay. So now, as you can see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 keyframes uh, and 11 storyboard frames just for this very simple animation. But you'll see how important it is to understand this breakdown before you start animating in Maya so you don't get lost.